Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again, Marine X here. And it is time that we add one more bag to our custom DIY get home bug out bag series. But finally, I was able to convince my wife she needed a get home bag. But first, if you're the type of person that likes survival stuff, get home bags, bug out bags, urban fight kits, tools, stuff like that, hit the subscribe button. But also make sure you turn on those notifications so you get a notification every time we post here. Make sure you join the Discord channel as well. We're always talking about stuff over there. So make sure you jump in there. We get way more interactive as well. Join the battalion, it's okay, we're growing. With that being said, let us jump into it. Yes, it is a little absurd. It is the Fake Knot Gucci GG belt bag. It is in your face. Just take it all in, enjoy it. This is, okay, my wife's get home bag. This is the only way I could convince her that it would be a little advantageous to have a bag with you at all times that you're gonna be ready to rock and roll with. Guess what? She took my advice. So we finally got here, Gucci GG fake knot belt bag. Now this is specifically designed for men. Obviously women can wear it too. I just went ahead and got the smallest belt size. So first off, let's talk about the intent of this bag. So my wife is not a survival monster, right? I would say. So the things that are put in this bag are things that she's familiar with, she's agreed to become familiar with, and things that we're able to work into her life. Now this bag is also, doesn't necessarily stick out because at the end of the day, we live in a large urban city. This is Dallas. For someone to be carrying a Gucci belt bag is not that big of a deal. The design of this bag is for her to be able to do a 10 to 15 mile walk. That a 10 to 15 mile get home walk. She's already told me the only reason she would do a get home walk is if it came down to her kiddos that even me and the dog are dispensable. So with that being said, she's not gonna always grab for this, she runs out of gas, she's not gonna start a get home walk. She gets a flat tire, she's not gonna start a get home walk. She's gonna call good old USAA, call somebody roadside assistance, they're gonna come help her out. So the design of this bag is all else fails. Maybe the kids have been left home and they're babysitting and she just wants to get home. She's gonna grab this bag and she's willing to make it happen. So let's talk about the bag itself. So the Gucci GG get home bag as I have spun it. Now listen, you can make this out of any fanny pack belt bag size personal bag. You can go full tactical. You can keep it fanny pack looking. You have different options. Don't worry the fact that I went with this bag and get all, you know, at the end of the day, get a little butt hurt because of the fact it's a Gucci bag. You can do this with any bag. The bag itself, uh, you do have to get a customized um, belt size when you order the bag. So I got the smallest belt size that they make for my wife. This is, I think, an 80, I think they call it an 80, maybe centimeters, I don't know. But high quality, genuine leather throughout. You know, the belt itself is genuine leather. The straps which hold the belt, genuine leather. You know, all the stitching around is with genuine leather. And we're gonna take the belt off so you can we can dive into the bag. All right, so the outside of the bag, it's a teaser. Gucci's basically saying, this is not fake. This is a real bag. You can buy this fake. I guarantee this one is real. On the outside of the bag, a heavy duty zipper. This is actually a YKK zipper, but Gucci had it rebranded specifically with their logos. So the actual um, zipper itself, I did attach a small green light. So if she's walking home at night, she can kind of shine this down a path whatever the case may be, so she can have that, and a really high quality emergency whistle. So that's the only two things on the outside of the bag. I figured those wouldn't tear up the zipper itself, and she would be okay with those hanging there. Let's bust the main bag open real quick. So the first thing that you see is I am repurposing the Rhino Ready uh, bandana. Now, the reason I decided to repurpose their bandana is because I've actually been rucking with their bag lately. And it actually, I got some opinions about how it rucks and I think that's gonna come up in a video soon. But this bandana gives a lot of advice on how to make shelter. You know, what do you do if you get an injury? 
uh, communications, what about sourcing water, just different things is gonna be useful that I think would be advantageous for my wife. So, and it's also good to just have a bandana, especially if you're going to be walking in the hot Texas sun, something to cover yourself, whether it be cover your face or to cover your head. So we have a bandana in there. Now I'm going with trying to make survival as practical and as easy as possible for the wife. So I'm going with Vessel's Smaller Survival Tube. Vessel makes a lot of different survival tubes that you can just kind of buy. They're pre-packaged. There, it's a really unique design where it's this odd, nice, I think it's aluminum build, really high quality casing on the outside. But the reason I liked it is the top of the actual um, little kit has a compass already built in right underneath that lanyard. Hopefully you guys can see that. It, obviously itself, it comes with the lanyard. So when she takes this out of her bag, right, she can now hook it to that same belt that's holding the bag. Now it frees up a lot of space in the, uh, the bag. And these are things that we talk through about how to utilize this bag, right? The bottom of it has a really actually pretty powerful light on it. Um, it has different modes. So long press to turn it on. And once you have it turned on, uh, it goes to a, a low mode and it has a red flashlight and it also has a SOS. So has the, uh, you know, it does have flashlight already built in. You can access the actual survival items from either the top or from the bottom inside of this little thing. So this thing is pretty smartly made. So let's access it from the top. So we unscrew, so we're gonna unscrew this top part here. You set that from the side, same concept with the bottom. You can unscrew the bottom, set that to the side, but we're gonna leave it so we'll have a solid surface to work with, okay? So here you see the items are labeled and it's gonna help her if she ever needed to use any of this stuff. So this first tin is a fire starting kit. So it's gonna have everything inside of it for fire starting. It has a little bit of tinder. It has matches, which matches are reliable, right? The tin itself in theory should be dry. It's in a tin, it's in a tube, and it's in a bag. And it has a striker inside the tin, which is really, really smart. So first thing you see in there is a fire starter. Next is a little tin of miscellaneous gear. A little tin of miscellaneous gear is exactly that. A bunch of miscellaneous gear. So, you know, it has another emergency whistle in here. It has some of these little grips that you can use to grip more items to her belt. It does have a small razor blade inside. Also a bottle opener, has a sewing kit in there. So just in case there's something in her vehicle as she's exiting for her beginning of her get home that she might wanna repurpose, right? So maybe she wants to cut up her blanket that she always has in the car because she's cold everywhere she goes. Maybe she could repurpose that for something else. And the final item in here is a small first aid kit. Now. The first aid kit that are in these things are not going to have Israeli bandages in it. They're not going to, you know, do a bunch of blood clots and stop stuff like that. That is not the design of these things. But they do have, you know, uh, antiseptic toilets in here. It has band-aids, just little stuff in here that's gonna kind of help you along your way. It has some gauze, it has some safety pins. You know, so this is gonna help with those small boo-boos and ouches. This is their smaller kit. And I'll link all this stuff up below uh, so you can check it out. Vessel does make a larger kit, which is in one of my, uh, stowed away in one of my additional survival areas in my truck. But this one has a bunch of these same little tins you saw. I think it holds 10 of them in this. So a lot more items in here, but I didn't wanna put that in her bag she determined that that would be overkill. So we got one, it has three in it, it has a lanyard, has a flashlight, has a compass. So that's a really good, easy, easy win. So next, the next thing she's gonna pull out in preparation for the actual walk itself will be a Leatherman Micra. Now this Leatherman is you've seen my skeleton, right? I have the leather, the Leatherman skeleton that's in my Urban Fight Kit. I decided to put this Leatherman in her bag. A, she liked it. 
And she also liked the functionality of it. So it's actually really has a lot of tools built in, a lot more tools, the, the skeleton Leatherman that's in my Urban Fight Kit. If you guys haven't watched that, make sure you click the link and check it out. But it has, you know, it has saws, it has knives, it has a really good set of pliers here. So it's just a really good Leatherman. It's all, it comes in handy. It's, um, and it's easy to use. Like it's not rocket science to fold it up, to use the outsized tools, unfold it to use the pliers. She got that concept. It made sense to her. And so now, and she also gets the concept of how to put the knife back away or put whatever item you're using back away. So I really like this as well. So first two items come out of the bag are going to be the vessel tool. It's gonna to be the Leatherman. Does this Leatherman can be looped into the same belt system that she's already using. So now it frees up space inside of her bag. So the next items we see in here, I know my wife, she's gonna want bug spray. She's not gonna go on a 10 to 15 mile get home walk and get bit up by gnats or bugs. So got her a little thing of mosquito repellent, which actually works really well. We use it here in the summertime. I have larger eight ounce bottles of that same stuff. I got her a little emergency blanket. So just in case, you know, it got real crazy or she was injured or something like that, she can sit down on the side of the road or sit down wherever, have a nice emergency blanket to be able to use. It's really compact and it's blue, so it's highly visible and it's easy to pull out, use, and it's from a really good, reliable company. This thing's not gonna rip up as soon as you begin to attempt to even use it. Another thing that's gonna be important as you begin a little journey get home walk or whatever, having a write in the rain little notepad with write in the rain paper is important. I've also included a pencil in here so that as she's walking, she can just take any type of notes that she needs and she can take those. This is an SE write in the rain survival pad, so really good. It also has some tips on the back for signaling and just different advice on different things that she may approach. I highly doubt that she approaches any of these op op obstacles, how to use a compass, you know, stuff like that. But it's gonna give her some quick advice, which will come in handy. Now the bag itself is has a fully cotton uh, liner. It has two pockets on the inside. One of the pockets is just a pocket you drop stuff in. The other one is an actual zipper here. So this front pocket is what I'm digging in now. We pull that stuff out. Now the intent for her get home walk is that there's no EMP. You know, nothing like that has happened. With the get home walk, my intent is for her to be able to use her phone, charge her phone, so forth and so on. So we did provide a three way USB charger, she has an iPhone, it has an iPhone charge on there, it has a USB-C on there, and it also has a micro USB. Those are the most common cords. This little converter here allows for the actual fast charging, so you won't have that trash, slow charging when you usually get these splitters. And then she has a RAV Power 10,000 milliamp hour battery. This can charge her phone two or three times, depends on how depleted her phone is. It is in here, it's at 100%, as you can see. We keep this in the car at all times. You can charge outwards with USB Type-C or USB-A. So either way, um, you know, having this in there, so that way she can walk, charge her phone, as long as she has signal, and she's good to go. It's a really good option there. Now, imagine it begins to become nightfall. Petzl makes phenomenal headlamps. This is one of their basic headlamps. I think I picked this up for like 25 bucks. Pull this out using double A or triple A only. You guys already know what I like to say. This is using three triple A batteries, really reliable, dependable, puts out just enough light, has several different modes that you can use, three different modes, and easy to throw on. So that way she's walking, she can have just a little bit more light and give her a little bit more peace of mind. So we're thinking about what is she gonna drink, how is she gonna function, stuff like that. So she has these whirly pack bags if she once she's able to gather water right then she can stand this up and i have a frontier straw as well that's in here so she can take the whirly pack bags she can actually store water and she can wrap these around her belt if she's storing water and she can insert the straw directly into the water and it's going to filter out 99 percent of that bacteria now a question may be is where is she going to get water obviously in an urban environment 
she ought maybe able to just get some from 7-Eleven. However, imagine she's actually walking from somewhere or there's no accessibility, there is a riot, there's unrest, civil unrest, whatever. She can't just scroll into a store and buy something. Then I did include this four-way utility tool so she can access water from the side of buildings. Oftentimes we walk by, you know, all you gotta do is take the larger square here and stick this into those little faucets on the side of the building. You can access water, fill up the World Pack bags, use the Frontier Straw, three-way system, she's good to go. Now, imagine it's a worst case scenario for her and she has to stay somewhere, keep herself warm. You know, I got her one of the easiest ferro rods to use on the market. This is a Light My Fire ferro rod. This is a Swedish company. This ferro rod is extremely easy to use. It has thumb indentations. It comfortably kind of lets you know how you're supposed to hold it. Really easy to use ferro rod. And that way she doesn't have to be worried about how she's gonna get another fire source just in case all her matches crap out. So also provide a small tampon. Tampon can be used if she has something that's a little bit larger that med kit cannot handle. And it can be used for lady stuff. So we're just gonna set that to the side. Now I wanted to get her a little bit of paracord, right? So got this little paracord bracelet that she can wear, not tons and tons of paracord. It does have a really crappy safety whistle built in here that she could use, but she can take this, unravel it, use this as she needs to. So as she's trying to start that fire, she has tinder, right? But utility flame, this gel is foolproof. This stuff here is so flammable that you wanna keep it off your fingers because this stuff is going to light. Whether it be a ferro rod, whether it be matches, whether it be mirror and you're using a lens or whatever, this stuff lights very easily and you don't have to use the entire pouch. So this is gonna help her. All she really has to do is gather some tinder, gather some sticks, she can get a fire going. So she gets to her destination. She may want to be able to clean or wipe. These are some of the expandable paper towel things. You get these wet, they get really big. These things are easy to use. So we got about 10 of them in here. And she has a signaling mirror. So obviously you can use a mirror to signal and you can use a mirror to look at yourself. If you wanna see if you have any injuries or anything like that, a little bit of cordage with the mirror as well. All right, so that's it. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button below. It helps us out a lot around here and make sure you subscribe and join the battalion. I am looking for some drill instructors to manage the discord so you might be a good candidate make sure you join the battalion by hitting the subscribe button below what do you guys think man got a nice simple get home bag up oh, wait let me give you a little bit of pricing if you go all in with everything that i bought here the bag itself is going to run you about 1150 dollars and then all the gear the vessel and all the other stuff is going to run you around another 300 bucks now you probably could find items less right but i'm looking for items that my wife can easily deploy not be nervous and just you know be ready to rock and roll imagine you're trying to teach someone how to shoot a boomstick right a revolver is a lot easier to use than something that has magazines right less likely to jam you can shoot it when you're nervous so forth and so on same concept i wanted to do with this bag here and you know what it's just a nice little gift to give to the wife so what am i missing out of here i know there's nothing in there to snack on scooby snacks she intends to put that stuff in there herself i didn't want to be the guy that shows that type of stuff. But listen, if you're the type of person that likes survival bags, click, click, click here. I'm gonna put some bags up here. You can watch those things until you pass out. Hey, make sure you also check out my other channel right here. We're gonna be checking out this Eagle Rare, right? If you ever heard of this stuff from the Buffalo Trace Distillery, we're gonna check this stuff out. Enjoy that with a good stick. Thank you for coming back. We'll speak soon.